a House committee is meeting to consider calls for removing Postmaster General Louis DeJoy from his post. Democrats have accused DeJoy of several conflicts of interest, including holding tens of millions of dollars in stocks in companies that would benefit from the privatization of the Postal Service. As News Channel 34's Morgan Wright shows us, the committee wants to shed light on how DeJoy's leadership could impact the mail-in voting process for the 2020 election. We have a crony at the helm of our nation's Postal Service. Virginia Congressman Jerry Connolly says he's concerned about the leadership of Postmaster General Louis DeJoy. We know postal workers can handle the volume of that election mail. The question is whether those at the helm are taking steps to hinder that capacity. New York Congresswoman Carolyn Maloney says allegations DeJoy reimbursed former employees for political contributions he urged them to make are a serious problem. If true, these allegations are not only incredibly unethical, they are illegal. Maryland Congressman Jamie Raskin questioned why DeJoy was even appointed to the job in the first place. How did this happen? This was not a presidential appointment, so it didn't go through the Office of Government Ethics. I don't think there's any way the Office of Government Ethics would have signed off on an agency head who has large amounts of stock in a company that's contracting with the agency. Republicans on the committee defended DeJoy and called the hearing a waste of time. We're supposed to be having a postal update. Not a single one of the witnesses even worked for the USPS. Georgia Congressman Jody Heiss called the hearing an attempt at political assassination. This is, in my opinion, as close to a kangaroo court as anything I've seen. Lawmakers say they plan to continue their investigation into DeJoy's qualifications to lead the agency. Reporting in Washington, I'm Morgan Wright.